Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. If you talk about the atomic size, you talk about the length line contraction also. In fact, we'll talk about this once again. Uh, this is a pretty interesting topic. What is lanthanide contraction? See, greater than expected decrease in the ionic radius of the elements in the lanthanide series. From the atomic number 57, this is my 57, to 71. So actually this one, this whole thing, lanthanide series. So if you see, from cerium to lutetium, there is a decrease, a huge decrease in the atomic size. 204 again decrease, 203, 201, 199, little bit stable again 196, 194, 192, 192, 189, 190, right? This is a decrease. This is unexpected decrease, greater than expected decrease in the ionic radius. And with this, the impact is that the next elements are all the more smaller. So if we talk about the lanthanum, for example, the atomic size is 1207. But the next element is if you see 175, there is a huge difference now. Right? See if you if you see from 57 atomic number, 58 comes here, it's, it's somewhere outside. But actually, when you compare the whole P6, you'll talk about lanthanum and hafnium, you'll see that there is a huge decrease in the atomic size. And the trend continues actually. From here, the size keeps on decreasing. That is the resultant uh, result of this contraction. Okay, so from 72 onwards, atomic number 72 onwards, if you see, there is again decrease, but since there is a extra decrease here, so if you see, if you compare, this is a huge decrease, right? Because of this, there is a trend here. If you see here, one thing, if you go down the group, we have seen that the number of shells increase and the atomic size increase. So if you see 170, 192, not 7, this is perfectly fine, right? But if you talk about this particular series now, 160, 175 is fine, but if you see it's 175, it's all same. 153, 164 increase, but 164 to 170 almost same. 139, 154 increase, but there's a very small increase here. 139, 147 huge increase, again there's a very small increase. 132, 146 huge increase, almost, in fact, this has decreased now. Similarly, 126, 142 increase, then again there is a decrease. 124, 139, huge increase, again there is a decrease. 132, 145, there is a huge increase, again there is a decrease, right? So, here also this is increase, 122, 144, but there it decreased. So, the our normal trend that as you go down the group, the atomic size increase, that is not true. It is true only for this one. Why? Because here, the lanthanide contraction impact is not there. Only uh, from hafnium, the impact is visible because these elements actually decrease the size. Okay, this is called lanthanum, lanthanides contraction. And this is because of poor shielding effect of 4F electrons. So if, we, if you see, if you notice that we have told that for lanthanum the electronic configuration was xenon 4F0 5D1 6S2. Right, lanthanum. This is lanthanum. After lanthanum, the next element is HF, half name. So, if you see the electronic configuration for this, is in this case we have told you that since D already has one electron now, the energy of D orbital has increased 5D. Now, the next electron will go to 4F1. Right, and the trend continues actually. Again, the next electron will go to 4F2. This is 4F1, this is 4F2. The trend continues. Okay. So this is my sorry, this was this is my lanthanum. Then you have cerium, sorry. This is for cerium. I'm talking about cerium. Cerium is atomic number 58. Cerium. Yeah. For cerium, this is the electronic configuration. And the next element, if you see, PR par C dynium. For PR, if you see, the electronic configuration will be Xe, 4F2, 5D1, 6S2. Okay, then again, uh, the next element is Nd, neodymium. For this neodymium, again, the electronic configuration will be Xenon, 4F3, 5D1, 6S2. So, if you see here, what is happening is the F orbitals are getting filled. F orbitals are getting filled in this. 
right? So if we compare the electronic configuration of let's suppose lanthanum to lutetium, the last element, last element the electronic configuration will be Xe or this 4f uh, orbitals will be filled then 5d1 6s2 and after this if you talk about hafnium so in that case actually this guy then again my 5d orbitals will start getting filled okay and that's why it is a d block element uh, hafnium and these are all f block elements so Nevertheless, what I'm trying to say is in all these, F orbital is getting filled and F orbital has all the more poor shielding effect, correct? And because of this, if you see, if you go from left to right, you're increasing the number of electrons and number of protons. You're increasing the number of protons, that means you're increasing the nuclear charge. Also, if you're going from left to right, you're adding electrons to F orbital. And we have told that F orbital has all the more poor shielding effect, right? So, gradually. So that means if you're going from left to right in this case, in this uh, lanthanide series, you're adding positive charge to the neutrons, to the nucleus, but you're not shielding it properly because the electrons are going to the F orbital and F orbital has poor shielding effect. Thus, the whole, uh, I mean, the elements contract, the atoms contract from left to right. Now, since we were at uh, lanthanum, the size was 207. And then since all these orbitals got filled, and we came here back in this g orbital at uh, 7 to 2 atomic number hafnium we found that the atom size has already decreased a lot and this decrease is called lanthanide contraction and the impact we have seen the impact we have seen that the normal trend if you go from uh, top to bottom the atomic size actually decrease increase because you are adding extra shells but because of this this trend is not followed for transition metals okay why this trend is not followed because of the lanthanide contraction why lanthanide contraction because in this uh, in this lanthanides my 4f orbitals is getting filled and f orbitals has very very poor shielding effect since it has very poor shielding effect the contraction is all the more evident okay so hope you understand what is lanthanide contraction and why it happens it happens only because of 4d sorry 4f orbital it has very very poor shielding effect and these elements actually because of this by the time you reach at this position your atomic size has already decreased a lot and if you can see here there is a huge decrease from 207 to 175 okay and again the trend continues because here also when you are adding here also you are adding to now d orbital and d orbital has also has the poor shielding effect so this also goes on this also decrease actually okay Let's take one numerical on the atomic size. Why do transition metal exhibit higher enthalpy of atomization? So we have seen that what is enthalpy of atomization? It is nothing but the energy required to convert one mole of substance in a stable state. One mole of stable state substance to its gaseous state. Right? When you talk about uh, metals transition metals it is normally solid for example iron solid to iron gas okay now to break solid to gas you need to actually break all these metallic bonds these in the solid um, transition metals they are solid they are hard why because they are held together by strong metallic bonds and we have seen that d and s orbital both these orbitals electrons are involved in metallic bond formation correct now since both these are in and we have 10 from d almost and 2 from s 12 maximum 12 but that's not the case maximum can have 5 here and 1 here 6 electrons and again a huge number that's involved in the metallic bond why 6 i2 because unpaired electrons are typically involved in the metallic bonds yeah so uh, that's why since the metallic bond is strong because of the number of unpaired electrons they have high interatomic interaction and thus they have high enthalpy of atomization okay the next question is in the series scandium to zinc the enthalpy of atomization zinc is lowest why i told you this enthalpy of delta h 
and a little bit clearly. So this value actually depends on what? Number of unpaired electron because these unpaired electrons forms bond, the metallic bond. So if you talk about the zinc, zinc, the electronic configuration is AR, 3D, 10, 4S2. It doesn't have any lone pair of electron. If you talk about the D orbital, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There is no unpaired electron. In fact, you talk about S also, 4S2. There is no unpaired electron. Right? So, if there is no unpaired electron, the bonding will be weak and thus it has lowest enthalpy of atomization. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.